What is up YouTube? It's I Can Swim here with another great tech tutorial made easy for you. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Cronus Max and Cronus Max Plus and how you make your own script and upload it to the device. This can be useful if you're trying to remap a game and the Cronus Max community hasn't provided a script for you that you like or maybe you have some additional features you want to add or manipulate. So, um, I'm just going to show you what you're going to need. Um, note though, you probably won't have both. You'll have the Cronus Plus, Plus, which is this one right here. But I've been working with Cronus Max for quite a while, so I also have the older one here. So, you're going to need your Cronus Max Plus device and your USB cord that was provided when you purchased it. And what we're going to do is we're going to connect it to the computer and start working on it. Now note with this video there's going to be two parts, so I'm going to do a part with the new Cronus Max, the Cronus Plus, and then I'll also do a part with the Cronus Max uh, last gen, so that if you are using the old one, you still have the info you need to create the script. Even though it is pretty similar on both, it's just a little different and it might still be good to see how it's done. So I'm just going to go ahead and get it set up, and then we will start working with the program. Alright. So now that we're ready to start working with the computer, the first thing we're going to need is the software, of course. You probably already have it, but if you don't, um, we are going to go to the Cronus Max website, which is just cronusmax.com, or you can just Google it, like Cronus Max, and then it'll come up. So mine came up um, because I've already been to the website. And right from the home page, you're going to see all the different features. And along the top, there's one tab called software. And the first option should be Cronus Pro. And you're going to click on it and download it. Or you can go to downloads down here. So once you have it downloaded, I'm not going to do it because I clearly already have it. It'll just run, extract, install, and you're good to go. So now we're going to take our device, uh, either the Cronus Max original or the Cronus Max uh, Plus, and connect it to your computer. You should hear the pop-up sound. Just like that. And once it's popped up, it probably won't pop up in my computer because it is a special piece of software from their company. So they only want you to go through their program, right? So we're going to double click, double click Cronus Plus. And it's going to open the program. And now there are many different options. So what we can do from here is download regular scripts. You can go along the sidebar here. Um, and then all these options on the bottom. So you can have visual scripting. You can actually make your own script, which we're going to do. And you can also like program it yourself and all this other fancy stuff and then there's different plugins you can use it you can use computer system computer system controls for a console like the ps4 or xbox um, you can remap and there's various others but we're not going to worry about that the one we're worrying we're going to work with and worry about is max mapper so you probably don't have it if you just installed the, the program so you're going to go up to the top here you're going to go to plugins and then plugin manager and mine's already installed, but yours probably isn't. So you're, on the list is going to come up with various options. You're going to go down to where it says Max Mapper, and you're going to click Install. But mine says Uninstall because it's already installed, but yours won't. So you're, once it's installed, you can exit out of this, and we're going to launch it. So you're going to go back to the plugins along the top and click Max Mapper. Now that it's installed, and it will bring you up to this window here. Um, so what we're going to do is yours is probably going to already be on the right setting um, but mine's going to be Xbox 360 for PS4 because that's what I've recently been using and now um, along the top here we can just click the controller so Xbox 360 controller on the PlayStation 4 but there are various ones you have PS4 controller Xbox one controller PS3 controller and your Xbox 360 controller and then you have PS4 Xbox one PS3 and Xbox 360 those are the consoles you can output the output for but just click on whichever ones you're using so mine again is Xbox 360 for to be used on a PS4 so now 
it's going to change the controller appropriately to whatever controller it's going to need to be. From here you can remap and change whatever you want. You could make the triggers go on the D-pad or you can make the triggers on A on square, triangle, circle, or X. You could even put it on R3 or L3. It doesn't matter. It's endless possibilities. But for me, because I can only use one hand, I need to be able to lay the controller flat. So I like the acceleration to be on where the X button is. So I'm going to go ahead and change X to right trigger. Now, again, I need to do this so I can, I can use the controller flat and I don't have to worry about using any of the triggers. So we simply click X or in this case, it's going to be a, because it's a, an Xbox 360 controller. And we're going to simply go through the drop down until we find right trigger and just click that in. Now, because we did change right trigger, we do have to put something in place of right trigger. Um, so just for, because this is demonstrative purposes, I'm just going to put A there. But you might want to put something else there like square or triangle. It doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want. So let's just say I wanted to change just that. So I've made my changes and now I want to save it. So along the top, you're going to notice that there are three options. There's new profile the drop down bar that we went to to select our input and output and generate GPC script. So what we want to do is generate a GPC script. Just click the button. You don't have to worry about the drop downs. So we're going to generate it and now it's going to bring you up to, the, to this coding. Um, it's not really pleasant to the eye, I guess, but that's just the way it is. So what it does is this is the code that's actually going to take the input from your Xbox 360 controller, well, in my case, and it's going to it's going to make it the R2 button on a PS4 controller. So instead of A being like square uh, X, now when you press the right trigger, it's going to simulate the A button being pressed. So it's taking its place pretty much. And that's the same with these other buttons. I only did two. But um, yours probably has more, um, but it's the same concept. Now, I ran into a little problem when I was programming my own, um, where sometimes you'll program it and it'll come up with the wrong input. So instead of A, it might have, um, let's say, left trigger. I just typed that in. So it'll say left left trigger to, uh, oop, no, that's, yeah, it's left trigger. Um, to R2 on PS4. So I, I kept uploading it to my device and couldn't really understand why because I didn't check this thoroughly enough. So what you want to do is once you've made your once you've created your your script in plugins and Max Mapper like this part and you've generated your script and it brings you up to here, make sure you go through go through your code and double check that it's the right buttons. I when I was first doing this, I had a controller in front of me because, you know, you're going between two controllers. It can be a little confusing, right? So just to confirm what controls I want where. So in case there was a, there was something wrong, you could just simply backspace it out and put it in the correct one. In this case, it needs to be A. So you can just type that in. And when you're done, you just save it. Um, I'm just going to do a save as um, demonstration. I'm going to put that on my desktop. So it's going to save the script. And now we're done with that. So we can go over to program grammar here, just the next tab on the bottom. So we were in GPC compiler and now we're going to go to programmer. Now from here, there are lots of pre-made ones, like just in case you wanted to try one out or maybe you want to upload a second one. Um, but you probably don't need to do that because you wouldn't be watching this video. Anyway, so here's what, here's the next part we're going to do. We're going to go, we're not going to use one of those scripts that are pre-made by the community. We're going to go and find the script we were actually using. So mine was on desktop, so I'm just going to go into my desktop, and there's demonstration, the script we just made. And here's the part that got me when I was first doing this. I didn't know how to, up to add it to the actual device it didn't really make sense to me so I was double clicking you know right clicking trying to get it 
copy it over even. So like right, well, can't right click. I was using control C, which is the copy shortcut and trying to paste it here, but you can't. So simply, the one thing I didn't think of because I was going into more advanced troubleshooting was you just drag and drop it into your slot. Just like that. Um, and then the next thing we do is it's going to show up here. It's going to say when you made it, when you uploaded it, and then you're just going to do program device. And note this process is very quick. There is almost no time required because the memory required is such a small amount. So you're just going to hit the program device button. It's going to bring up this wizard. You just click OK and it's going to be very quick. And that's it. <laughs> Like it was almost instantaneous. And now when you go to plug in your device, it will have your script. And if you notice on your Cronus Max device, there is there's the button. Yours will probably be highlighted blue if you're using next gen. And it's just black if it's last gen. So you're just gonna press that button to cycle through the preloaded script you have uploaded. In my case, I have two. So I will have either I will have a number one, and then if I click it again, I will also have a number two slot, which is the demonstration script we just made in this video. Um, other than that, there isn't very much you have to worry about. Um, it does most of the work for you. It's just that little that little part there where it generates the script, and sometimes the buttons can be off or incorrect incorrectly mapped. So I wanted to make sure I touched on that, so you don't run into any issues like I did. And that's it for this video. Um, if you're using Last Gen, stay tuned and we will jump right into that. Otherwise, good luck. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more great videos. And we'll see you later. Now on to Last Gen. So if you're still watching, you probably have the Cronus Max original. Um, there aren't too many differences between the two. The Cronus Max Plus, the newer one, supports USB hubs, so there isn't that disconnection every 10 minutes or so, which, if you're playing Call of Duty or Fallout or Battlefield or Battlefront, it can be pretty annoying. So, um, I'm not trying to sell anything, I'm just saying if you're looking for premium quality, I would really, really recommend upgrading to the Cronus Plus, and if you're living in the States, it's under $100, but if you're in Canada, there's a bit of a hit you take. But anyways, that's besides the point. We're going to go ahead and jump back into it and load a script onto the last gen. So, same as the Cronus Plus, you're simply just going to plug the, the uh, micro USB into the USB port of your computer and the device and it'll make its usual sound. Just like that. Now again, it's not going to come up because as mentioned, uh, Cronus, Cronus Max owns it and they want it only through their program. So we're going to launch Cronus Pro. Um, the Cronus Max original software is no longer used and I'm not sure if it still supports it. Um, I haven't checked, but I've been running Pro since they came out with it and haven't had any problems. I think there were bug fixes as well. Anyways, besides the point, um, you might just want to download Cronus Pro if you don't have it yet because it is just better, better layout and everything. So back to where we were. So same as in the previous part, um, now note for this part, I am going to be going a little faster because I have already explained everything in detail. This is just so you have an idea. And I'm hoping I run into the problem on this last gen unit because it will it's very educational and it will really help a lot of people if you're still on last gen. So anyways, along the top as before, we're going to go to plugins, max mapper. It's going to come up. If you don't have it, you can go to plugin manager and download it. And then it'll come up with this. So again, I'm using Xbox 360 on, to PS4 output. Um, and we're just going to do, we're going to pick some random things here. So we're going to take B, make it uh, left trigger. We'll make left trigger B. Uh, where are you, B? There we go. So I just made a few changes for a demonstration. So we're going to generate the script. And... Doesn't look like it gave any problems. Um, yeah, it's not giving that error. That's funny. It was giving it to me four or five times in a row. Anyways, so what I was running into, as described before, sometimes it'll change the, it'll change around the wrong controls. So you're going to press A on your Xbox, and it might be 
L1 or whatever. Like, there's so many different possibilities. I just found it very frustrating for my racing games. So, besides the point, you're going to get this script. We're going to go ahead, save as before, just call it whatever. We're going to call this one example 2. Example 2, we'll save it on desktop, and we're good. So, now it's saved. So we can go ahead, along the bottom here, we're going to go over one to Programmer, just the next tab over, and we're back where we were. So on this device, I have two loaded. I have my actual script, and I also put a demo on here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete them just because I don't need them. Actually, I do need that first one. That's a lie. So I'm just going to delete the second one, and I'm going to load example. Now note, this is the same for last gen and next gen. You just drag and drop into the slot and it'll load it for you um, if you don't see it in the top left um, you just go down on this bottom right pane here you're gonna go to the location you saved it mine was just desktop and it's not coming up weird all right it's probably because it's already appeared they already pulled it for you anyways that's not the point you just go to the location if not you can pro you can browse for it and refresh up here and it might come up um, but once it's in this, once you've dragged it over to the slot, you're just going to hit program device again, and it's going to be very quick. Wizard's going to come up, just press OK, and it's less than five seconds. And done. <laughs> like, I don't even think that was a second. But anyways, that's all there is to it. That, that start to finish loading the script. A little faster because we are on last gen, and probably not a lot of people have it. Um, but concept is still the same. Everything is still the same. Um, there is no, there are no real bugs or anything to report. Oh, the one thing I did want to mention though, if you are using the last gen Cronus Max, you are only able to update to firm 1.1. Now, if you do want to update to 1.2 and use the USB feature that they added, you do need to purchase the Cronus Plus because they did add a new piece of hardware that allows this capability to happen. Um, but if you're not, if you don't mind the interruptions, it's not, it's, it's not a, really a problem for you. Um, you just have, it'll just reconnect every 10 minutes or so, and then you're good to just keep gaming. It's just, for me, it was more because I was getting sick of that interruption, you know, but if it doesn't bug you, you don't have to worry about it. But it's just so, you know, you will only be able to update to 1.10. Um, and again, that is a hardware limitation. Um, that's due to how they physically designed the new one and the hardware they used but other than that pretty damn solid device if i do say so myself i mean i've been using it for two three years now and have had no problems so that's it for this video if you have any questions comments concerns feel free to leave a comment and like and until next time we'll see you later youtube